Using this homemade Van de Graaff generator, we can demonstrate the attractive power of static electricity. At its lowest setting, it can attract pieces of lint. Wow, my belly button has never been this clean. You could eat soup out of this thing. At a medium setting, it can attract larger objects. Does anyone have a sock we can use? Oh, and there's one here sticking out of your bag. What is this? Some sort of puppet? That's nothing. It looks like Echo. OK. I think we've learned enough science for one day. Everyone, I have some exciting news. More exciting than we've learned enough science for one day? As I'm sure you all know, the long-anticipated movie adaptation of Grave Betrayal, book one of the Sand and Soil Chronicles, is coming out next month. I know. I'm on the waiting list for a wristband that puts you on the waiting list to stand in line for a ticket to the ticket line. Way ahead of you, sister. But we're not going to need them. Because Finnegan High has been selected for an advanced Halloween screening! Oh, shut up! <laughs> Sir, how many of you have read these books? And how many of you have read the chapter on electrostatics in your science textbook? I skated through high school. Who wouldn't be into such a beautiful love story set against the backdrop of an epic war between mummies and zombies? It's got passion, romance, severed limbs. Well, I'm certainly into it. Cool. Maybe we could sit together at the movie tonight. That's great. And if you get frightened, you can bury your head in the powerful embrace of my comforting arms. Huh? That offer is open to all of you. I may take you up on that. Well, I'll be fine. Nothing scares me. something you'd like to tell me? Yes. The dryer is broken, and this is the only thing I have to wear. I figured it was something like that. Not that you actually landed a man. <laughs> Hutch, aren't you a little old for trick-or-treating? Unless that's a really good costume and you're a kid sitting on another kid's shoulders. Actually, I'm just here to meet Ivy. That's right. I'm taking Hutch out for a birthday surprise. Your birthday's on Halloween? Your parents must have thrown you some pretty fun parties as a kid. They were all right. I mean, a lot of kids showed up. Of course, I didn't really know any of them. And they didn't bring me presents. In fact, they mostly just took candy and left. Are you sure those weren't just trick-or-treaters? I don't think so. That would mean my parents never actually threw me a birthday party. <laughs> oh. No wonder the clowns would never stick around to do a show. This book is so boring. I'm on page eight and I've already taken three naps. There you are. Oh, hey, Mom. Great costume. Bride of no one. I'm forced to wear this because all my clothes are wet since somebody dismantled the dryer. I needed the parts to build my Van de Graaff generator. Well, now you can use the parts from your Van de Graaff generator to build a dryer. <laughs> I promise I'll fix it later, but I have to get to school. Oh, no. You're not leaving until you fix that dryer and the vacuum cleaner and the oven. Wait, I didn't take apart the oven. I know, but it's not working. 
But I have to get to school tonight. Parent-teacher conferences. On Halloween? What better night to deliver scary news about underachieving students? Well, I guess if it's for work. Oh, thanks. See ya. Wait a second. Ivy didn't tell me about parent-teacher conferences. Trick or treat. I choose treat. <laughs> what do you want from me? I'm starving and the oven's broken. <laughs> Move it, fireman. under attack. Attention, creatures of night. This not night school. We're not really yeah. monsters. We're just dressed up for Halloween. Halloween? Yeah, don't you have a day in Vietnam where you get dressed up in costumes? Oh, you mean dress up like Reef Monkey and steal fancy hat back from real Reef Monkey Day? On Halloween? You carve pumpkins. You dress up and go door to door asking for candy. You throw eggs when you don't get the good kind of candy. <laughs> then you eat so much candy, your teeth ache and your vision blurs. And you see unicorns where there are no unicorns. Ow! Watch it with that horn, buddy. <laughs> Mr. Young, why aren't you in costume? I am. I'm dressed as Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Oh, I understand the confusion. Where are the big shoes, the bolts on the neck? I'm not Frankenstein's monster. I'm Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, it's casual Friday at the lab. Loser. <laughs> Adam! Why aren't you dressed like a character from the book? Are you Team Josh or Team Ethan? Team Josh? <gasps> you choose that skeevy mummy prince over the noble zombie warrior? Uh, let me finish. Team Josh people aren't worth the bandages they're wrapped in. <laughs> what do you like best about Commander Ethan, the leader of the zombies? Well, I'm intrigued by his autonomic movements after death and its implications in the field of nerve stimulation research. <laughs> I, I mean, he's dreamy. <laughs> since I was a little girl. So don't expect to do anything this fancy. <laughs> now, why don't you give it a try? Uh, stay back. What's my birthday surprise? What would you say if I told you we were going to see the world premiere of the most anticipated Halloween movie in decades? I would say goodbye. <laughs> Halloween and I are no longer on speaking terms. Which is why I brought you here for a picnic. 
Oh no, I forgot the blanket. And the food. And the fact that picnics are lame. Let's go to a restaurant instead. Wait. Are those Halloween costumes? <laughs> of course not. These must be people who were horribly injured in a bus accident. So what do you feel like, Chinese? I recognize some of the injured. There's students here. This is terrible. Horrible. Heartbreaking. Italian? <laughs> Where are you going? To the nurse's office to get first aid supplies. I can't just stand by and watch these people suffer. I'm a trained lifeguard. <laughs> I took an oath. Whoa! We've got a bleeder over here. Ivy, quick, apply pressure to the wound and keep him stable until I get back. What's he talking about? I'm not bleeding. I faint at the sight of real blood. That looks plenty real to me. No, it doesn't. Ah! <laughs> Where is he? Derby? <laughs> Derby, is that yeah. you? Derby, are you in there? <laughs> Who are you looking for? Derby! Oh, did you check that one? <laughs> there you are. Oh, nice costume. Dr. Frankenstein on Casual Friday? <laughs> I need your help. I'm trying to convince Echo I know something about this stupid book. <laughs> Wait, which is to say I love it. As in, yo, this book is stupid awesome. <laughs> The problem is, I haven't read it. I need you to help me be a zombie. What do you have against zombies? What do they have against us mummies? They eat brains. We don't have brains. Or any internal organs, for that matter. Well, except for one. We have a heart. Yes, it's kept in a ceramic jar in the sarcophagus, but we have a heart. I need you to put aside your mummy loyalties long enough to help me convince Echo I'm a dedicated zombie. Tell you what, I'll help you with your Echo problem if you help me with my uh, unicorn problem. Shoo. <laughs> I can't believe I have to see Ivy's teachers looking like this. Trick or treat! <laughs> Gang! You know you're supposed to dress up for Halloween, right? I am! This my formal coverall! I meant in a costume? Why I not talking with caramel capow in my mouth? <laughs> now, trick or treat! <laughs> I don't have any candy in my bag. Will you settle for vanilla lip balm? Rook strike, you choose trick. Uh-oh. Let's get this poor guy patched up. Hey, what are you doing? Don't worry, I'm a lifeguard. I'll sedate him. Good news, we were able to save your leg. Is this okay or do you need a bag? <laughs> okay, Derby. I'm heading over. Okay, ready. Hey, Echo. Adam, you're back just in time. Let's reenact the graveyard scene from the book. I'm Veronica, you be Ethan. No problem, the graveyard scene. You will be Veronica, I will be Ethan. Graveyard scene. Got it. We can't be caught here like this. It's... forbidden. Better to be caught with you than spend eternity without you. Better to be caught with you than spend eternity without you. I'm so hungry. For love? For love? For flesh. Ow! Oh. Where is that earpiece? Oh, are you jumping to the part where we dig up Veronica's father and you ask him for her hand? I think that's him right there. Now we can be with each other for all eternity. Because you have helped me 
to fulfill my destiny. I am a zombie. <laughs> I'm back. What do I say next? Got it. Ah! Help! Stop hitting me! Not the face! Thank goodness. I finally escaped those monsters. Oh. Ah! Who's there? I can't see. My eyes are crusted shut. Uh, that's better. the back of the dragon. Hey, that was a lot of fun chasing that other mummy around. I'm totally not him. I'm a girl mummy. Derby, I need your help. It's Derbet. And Derby warned me about you. Did he tell you what happens in the next chapter of the book? Why don't you just ask your mom? She's obviously a fan. My mom? Yeah, I saw her inside the school. My mom? Yeah, I saw her inside the school. My mom? You saw her inside the school? <laughs> All right, we switched roles. I don't know what's going on. If she sees me here, I'm dead. Death doesn't have to be the end. Have you ever considered mummification? <sighs> huh, free ceramic jar. Mr. Tater? Is he unconscious? I'm afraid so. Great, then you won't mind if I jump ahead of him. <laughs> I have multiple contusions on my left leg. I need you to wrap it for me. Forget it. We're just getting ready to leave. Ivy, I took an oath. <laughs> How's that? Better. Oh, no. The pain has traveled to my other leg. And both my arms, my abdomen, my neck, and my face. Perfect. <laughs> What's going on? Why have you been doing this to me? You were in a terrible bus accident. No, I wasn't. He's confused. He's clearly brain damaged. We should amputate his head and freeze it. Till they find a cure? Whatever. You people are crazy. I was fine until you showed up. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was never in any bus accident. Wow, twice in one day. What are the odds? Burgers? Mm hmm I wonder where Adam went. I thought he was going to sit with me. Ew! Get away from me, you stinking mummy. I'm not going in there with you. But I'm nervous. I wonder where he went. The movie is probably filled with scary parts. Perfect for holding on to someone tight. <laughs> it's me, Adam. Adam? You're a mummy? No, I'm not a mummy. I'm just wearing this to hide from my mom. There you are. <laughs> Desperate, angry zombie spinster? Nice. There aren't any parent-teacher conferences tonight, are there? Sure there are. <laughs> Look at all the mummies that showed up. <laughs> Not a lot of daddies, though. You lied to me. OK, technically I did, but I wanted to come and hang out with my friends. This kind of thing is exactly the reason I became a high school teacher, to have these normal teenage experiences. Well, you're about to have another one. You're grounded. Wait. <laughs> Stop! Hey, 
That zombie is attacking one of our brothers in bandages. Let's get those flesh eaters. The mummies are attacking. Show no mercy. We'll eat their flesh and flush with their wrappings. Brains. Brains. Wow, are you ever barking up the wrong tree? to be epic battle. Sometime in the next six to eight hours. Well, that movie was stupid. Yeah, and not stupid awesome. Stupid, stupid. <laughs> Dang, I have three cracked ribs and a punctured liver. Mmm, that does sound delicious. <laughs> but that not candy. I don't have any candy. Oh. So you choose trick. <laughs> oh. 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 I hate Halloween. Oh. 